Nier Automata doesn't really seem like a thing that should have happened, or at least a thing you wouldn't have expected to happen. It's a sequel to a game that came out seven years prior to its release. A game that didn't sell well, though a game that did gain its own audience, its own following, based mostly on the story and characters uh, made by director Yoko Taro, though not many people would say that the gameplay was good. It was something that didn't sell well and was just considered to be sort of a unique curiosity, relegated to the past. So, everyone was quite surprised when Square Enix announced, hey, there's going to be a sequel to Nier. Remember Nier? It's going to be another one of those. Except the developer of the first Nier, Kavya, they're not making this one. Platinum Games is making this one, but the story and uh, direction is still being done by Yoko Taro. This sort of blew people's minds because Yoko Taro doing the story that he does, like in Nier and in the Dragon Guard games, but with gameplay developed by Platinum and probably a respectable budget behind it since it's Square Enix, so this was actually kind of an amazing thing, a thing that does not seem like it would have happened, yet it did. And it came out, and from what people have said, it is one of the best games of 2017, maybe even one of the best games of this generation, according to some of the people I've been hearing talking about it. So I was interested in playing this. Now, I've not played the original Nier. I did read the LP of it, done by the Dark Id a few years back. So I remember some of the story beats, some of the uh, characters and how that story went, basically. But I have not played it myself. I don't know how much of a relation Nier Automata will have with the original game, but I assume that this is... I assume this was made with the intention that you would be able to play it without really needing to know much of the previous game, since it's likely a lot of the people who played this did not play the first Nier. So I'm just really interested in playing it because it's a unique curiosity, but unlike the other unique curiosities I tend to play, this one's actually supposed to be good. So I just really wanted to play what a lot of people are saying is one of the best, if not the best, game of 2017. So, let's get started with Nier Automata. Let's begin. All right. I, I guess that's useful to know. Most games these days do, do, do autosave. I guess there's a reason that this one does not. Oh, I have to enter a name. Uh, all right, let's see how many characters... It, oh, it says how many can, characters it can handle, and it does do 16, which is one more than the usual 15, so it actually can handle the entire name. How about that? Let's see. Easy, enemies are weak, you can equip auto-chips, standard, most enjoyable difficulty. Probably. Battles are tougher, no lock-on, can't use lock-on, die in one hit. Wow. Well, let's just go with normal. See how that is. Uh, I already looked at the settings, the, do the graphic settings and all that, so we can just start the game and get right into it. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. This is Command. Yorha Squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 6-0. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50-kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti-air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath-class unit by any means necessary, and gather what data you can. Understood. Ah! 12H down. 
All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Okay. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. Eleven B down. Our HO two two nine cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. All right. Our bumper to fire. Sure. Whoop. Dodge that. Seven E down. Right trigger to barrel roll out of the way. I do like how this game just gets right down to business. Like right from the beginning, the main character says, I wonder if I'll ever get the chance to kill God. Down. Assuming Captain's duty. I like that they don't waste any time with that. Oh, why is heavy attack? Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. All right, now we got, well, yeah, a dual joystick shooter is what we have right now. Moving with L stick, aiming with R, holding down R bumper to fire. Oh, and now Y is a sword. As it should be. We're, we're controlling a mech. We should have a sword. Captain, I think. Yeah, it's a laser. It's right there. 4B down. Two B to operator six O. All allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. Uh, operator to two B. We need you to rendezvous with Unit 9S and begin gathering data on the local terrain. Understood. So, so far, the mission has gone as poorly as it could possibly have gone. We're still continuing, though. We're still going to do it. So far, the shmup aspect is not what I expected from the game, but I did did read some people saying that this game has a number of different play styles. attack gear. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Alright, so how do we move around? Just in person mode. My L stick. Use the R stick to change camera, of course. X is light attack. Y is heavy attack. Got my jump. Can cut in midair. I can also... Okay, my little robot fires. Little robot doesn't seem all that strong, though. Swords seem a good deal stronger. 
I mean, we are going to need a powerful sword if we are going to kill God. Which we did say that is what we wanted to do. And I guess my sword does destroy the orbs that they're firing. So I can just run at them and slash. Like, do a double jump. And, like, float down. Oh. Can RT to evade. This guy's charging at me. Can evade him. Not quite. All right, you got like a giant metal arm. On target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal: dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. All right, let's just take out the giant buzzsaw arm as quickly as we can. Why didn't I think of that? I guess that was a big hit. Causes the screen to go black and white. Well, my swords do seem to have much longer range than I would think that they would have. Laser communications recovered. Toby, I'm transmitting your pod program. Pod program download complete. What's my pod program? Oh, I can use LB to use my pod... Oh, that was probably a bad time to use the pod program. Probably should not have used it right there. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, ma'am. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right. I'll work my way inside from the ground. Alright, that wasn't the target, but you'd figure that something called the Goliath wouldn't be able to hide very well. It sounds like it'd be something pretty big, otherwise why would you call it the Goliath? Ah, so wondering where should I be heading out to? Looks like we'd go out here on this bridge. What is it? Okay, I grabbed the robot. That's why I'm able to float. Okay, lock on and fire.
Is there anything I pick up? Okay, I automatically do pick up G's when I get close to them. It's kind of like, uh, there's some G's over here I did not get. Oh, this is something else. I got copper ore. I guess there's something I'm going to do with that. I didn't see any any part of our mission that said we needed to mine uh, for uh, for ore. What? Oh, oh, oh. I guess G's are the currency that these robots use, and by extension, we use. You see, it's, it makes for a very convenient economy when you can... Oh, I got a broken key. When you can make money by killing the enemies. I mean, that's how, I mean, that is how you have to make your living, right? If you're killing enemies, you have to be able to make money doing it. And the only way to make that happen is for the currency that your society uses to be the same thing that the robots use. That's just common sense. I mean, imagine if you didn't use the same currency, you'd be getting all these Gs. Nothing. You don't. You don't do anything with them. You can't use them for nothing. To be, uh, ma'am. Hmm. What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. I don't need. You probably don't need to ask permission for it. Additional intelligence is always needed. I mean, what are, you, are we going to say no to map data? Of course we want the map data. There's a red thing on that map. Is that where we're trying to get to? Well, right now we're on a spiral. So we're just going to the top. After we get to the top, maybe we can get to the red thing. Oh, I got a rusted clump. I mean, it's preferable if the clumps that you find are not rusted. But you make do with what you get. I guess we are going in here. Exit confirmed closed. So open it. Negative. Nearby enemies are chanting our signal. Nothing's ever easy. Well, I mean, our entire squad died on the way here. You would think that when they did the mission briefing, the idea was that this was going to be a lot easier than it turned out to be. Because we were going to have an entire team with swords and guns wreaking havoc. They all died. Uh, they all died. Something shot them with a giant laser. Probably the thing we're looking for. But you'd think that if there's something around called the Goliath that shoots a giant laser, we wouldn't have to look too hard for it. From what I saw of the original Nier, I do seem to remember that there was a whole lot of this kind of thing with enemies uh, shooting orbs at you, and you could dodge the orbs, and you could also, whoops, you could shoot back, uh, except the thing that shot back in Nier was a book. Uh, and here it is a robot. glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. 
<laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. Yeah, 9S. I, don't start doing this emotions thing. That only leads to problems. Just be completely cool, collected, and follow orders. It doesn't. You don't. You don't even think about what it is you want to do or what you would like to do. It's only what you've been told to do. Why would anything else matter? Oh, super attack. I do think it's interesting how the the gameplay just changed all of a sudden when it changed perspective to uh, side scrolling. I mean, it's still the same thing. It's swords and guns, but now I'm fighting on a 2D plane instead of 3D. Oh, I can go up this ladder. Is there something up here? Do I want to go up here? Yeah. Okay. Just like a new thing up. Yeah. I don't know if I had to go up here. Is this where I wanted to go? Where do any of us want to go? Up is usually a good place to go. Usually that's where we all want to go in life. We want to go up. The only question is, whose definition of up do you go with? Do you go with what society tells you is up? Or do you decide that you are going to create your own definition of up? For 2B, I mean, it's pretty obvious. She's just following orders. There are people giving her orders. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. There are other people who are defining for her what up is. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory, but now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Hmm. So where should I go here? Because this seems to lead to a dead... No, actually, it looks like... Oh, okay. I looked at the map and saw that there was a hallway leading off here. Did not notice the door. Huh. Shouldn't have had his back turned. We're doing overhead now, so we're... Yeah, okay, we are back to dual joystick shooter. It's interesting that even though it's a dual joystick shooter on a 2D overhead plane, I still can jump over the balls. So the Z-axis is still there. Thought I could get that combo, but no. Smacked me before I could finish it. Because that is that big one. Didn't realize it was that big one. Just trying to take it safe right now since I did lose some health there. Just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Right, that means it's okay to kill them. Thank you for another day of hard work. We are back. It's just, you know, a, a vague simulation of what people used to do. But they're not really people. They don't have minds of their own. So it's okay to kill them. 
because you're not killing them. You can't kill what was not alive. Look, if they were not humanoid looking, would you even c consider sympathizing with them? You ever see Star Trek Next Generation? Remember those episodes where they were de debating whether or not Data was a living thing? They never really talk, l talk like that about like the Enterprise's computer, right? And why is that? Because Data looks human. The Enterprise doesn't look human. It looks like a ship. So, of course, you're not going to consider it to be alive. If Data looked like a car, no one would have considered him alive. It's just an emotional reaction that your human brain is doing because it looks like you. That's why it's a, it's a mistake to make robots look humanoid, because that will get, that will make you want to sympathize with them. But you shouldn't sympathize with them. They're not alive. I guess it could be worse. Can you imagine if the scientists made robots to look like puppies? That would be the worst. You could never kill them then. It's like, it's, I guess, you know, it's one thing to say, 2B, invade this factory full of humanoid robots and destroy them all. Be another thing to say, 2B, the, go into this factory with robots that look like adorable puppies and slash them to pieces. You know, we would have to question our allegiances if that was the case. Ah. Enemies. Close range combat is advised. Okay, so there are reasons to have to use the sword. I mean, it's cooler just to use the sword, but it's safer to use the gun. I do like that they use the I'm going to swing my arms in front of me, and if you get hit, it's your fault attack. That's always a crowd pleaser. Mm. I got black and whited. Well, I think that the black and white splash image is preferable to what you sometimes get where when you get hurt then you just like get blood surrounding the screen and it doesn't go away until you heal yourself i mean wouldn't it wouldn't even make sense in this case considering 2b's not human right i mean i don't know what color her fluids are but it's probably not blood At the beginning of the game, when we chose the difficulty, it said the hardest difficulty, you die in one hit. So does that mean any of the hits that we've been taking so far would have resulted in a death? Because that does seem extreme. Though I guess if you really like this game and you want to replay it over and over, eventually that'll sound appealing. Definitely not something for your first try, though. Gotta get my broken key. What do I do with a broken key anyway? Am I gonna fix that key? Am I gonna use it for scrap? I haven't seen any, lo any locked doors that I will need it for. I leveled up. All right, got my health back. I'm doing okay. Music is great so far. It was also great in the original Nier. I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they... 
I don't know, moved it somewhere? Who's they? I mean the robots, but... We've been killing them. Is that? Hmm? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. Well, I guess the environment must be in a bad state if we're surprised to see birds. And looking off in the distance that so we can tell, yep, this is our world. In the future, everything's destroyed. So you just get that from the one environment that we're seeing in the distance. You know what it means when you see those, those ruined buildings. It means, hey, this is our world, things went, right, went way wrong, and this is the result. Still, I mean, in this world when, where things went way wrong, we have androids who have gigantic swords levitating off their back. So that's not all bad. Could be worse. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Alert. High power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. All right. Well, we've done this before, but it looked like there was a second one. Uh, oh, getting smacked around. Looked like there was a second arm. So it looks like we might have to do two at once. And yeah, there it is. And I did lose most of my health just there after a few hits, so I guess I need to be careful. Nope, ran right into that. And, yep, okay. I'm glad that this robot is healing me. A shooting, it's working, but it's taking a while. Slow. Oh, it's about to say it's slowing down. Maybe I should just go in and slash. No, that bit late about that. I was a bit late on that. I'm just getting knocked around by this. Trying to duel it is a bad idea. Just trying to stand there and slash it with my sword, not not good. Not a good idea. I should not do this. Should probably also use my dodge move more. What was it? Well, that's my super, but that's the dodge. Oh, it stopped. Is that? Target enemy detected. Yeah, warning seems wise. This also seems like something that I would describe as being a Goliath. Oh, uh, uh. I guess that's why we didn't see it, because it was actually just that big that we thought it was the base itself. All right, I guess the dodge move is necessary to not take damage from these things. Hmm? 
Oh, he hate to see that. This is the target. I'm going to destroy it. Uh, right. I'll provide support. I mean, I'm glad that she's confident. We are doing some damage, but it's kind of doing more damage to us. Enemy attack from below. Proposal. Oh. Evade. Unfortunately, there's no time limit. So if we just have to peck at it with our gun, I guess it's not such a bad thing. And 9S is helping out. He's also pecking away. Timing was bad. Packing in. Okay. I was wondering how are we going to do that, but I guess we can get on right here. Well, it's moving again, but what's it going to do? We're on its body. We're like, like a little tick. It do, it's hands. Support request to command. Negative. Communications have been jammed. I'm just going to say it doesn't seem, its hands don't seem uh, dexter dexterous, agile enough to pick us off. So it's going to send us little robots. I, I could, should probably just start slashing at this thing right here. I mean, it doesn't seem like we, we can, but I mean, it seems like it would be a good idea. We could just like cut the neck off. I guess we're concerned about 9S right now. Ah, ladder. That, yeah, that went real bad for him. But I guess it was about to go real bad for us if it wasn't for him. Still, you'd think with all of the very fancy, sleek technology that our side seems to have that we would be doing better against this very rusty, kind of slapdash put together robot technology. I have to help 9S. No, I know, he's right there. We're just picking up the collectibles. I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the- Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut current... up! Just do what I say! To be... Just go. You shut up too. 
We... We're soldiers. We take pride in... our service. HO-229 Flight Unit. Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please... We got some flight gear back. Didn't help 9S all that much, so hopefully we do better. I mean, no, that was just completely... He just completely missed that. Whoop. Okay, he did not completely miss that time. arm is that? Doesn't seem like I can really aim at the arm. I'm just sort of... Okay, there we go. Control of upper arm. Seized from enemy unit. Marking weak point. Got it. See this control system. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table adjusted. Balance controls overridden. Enemy unit subjugation complete. There we go. Ah, uh, Because it's not really a robot unless we have some sort of giant sword or equivalent. And if the equivalent means like a giant buzzsaw arm, that's, you know, that's not bad. about bringing the battle to them <laughs> ought to be contact command request assistance no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary oh great That <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box, it's ready. Right. <coughs> Requesting. Destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. 
truly. The honor was mine. Oh, saving is possible. Uh, was that a flashback? Be kind of weird if that was a flashback, since that that happened in the past. It didn't seem. It doesn't seem like two B and nine S would be around to remember that. Uh, uh, let's see. This, um, let's see. What we got? We got quick save. All right. Okay, it's saved. No quest right now. Let me just start the game. Do we actually have any of the things that we picked up? Uh, it looks like all those are blank. Alright. I mean, quick save just is the same thing as saving here, I suppose. I just wanted to make sure. If th was there a difference between quick saving and normal saving? Just wanted to make sure that I had saved is the thing. Uh, because I suppose that's probably enough for our, our start of Nier Autonoma, Aut Aut Automata for right now. Uh, we just hmm, fought through a big metal base. Uh, 2B and 9S died, except no, they are not dead. And I got an achievement for uh, something? Looking at, Looking at something in space? I don't know. But uh, we're here, we're in this, like this space station, and we're going to go talk to 9S, and either I talk about what we just did, or maybe what we're going to do in the future when we die, or maybe we died and now we're okay. It's, it's hard to say. It's hard. Well, we're going to continue on with Nier Autonoma. Uh, and I'm going to be able to pronounce it consistently at some point. We're going to continue on with Nier Automata.